Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So this uh, little toy has been laying around here for a while. I don't know. Anyway, I seen it laying around the shop. I assume my grandson broke it or something, or it came from somewhere. So uh, we're going to take it apart and uh, see if there's anything in it worth having. Y'all stick around. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so I went ahead and backed out a couple of these screws here. Go ahead and get them out the way. Sounds like it's raining outside again. This is like day three of rain all day. So we'll start with this side. See exactly what's in it. So that looks like it is probably coated in silver for the uh, actual spots there on it. Whoops. <clears throat> see what we got on this side here. Some of these toys have some pretty good stuff in them. Um, this looks like one of these little cheap dollar store things. But I found some gold in some. That screws out of there already. And to me, recycling is, is super important. Um, it's just a matter of time before we run out of copper, silver, gold, you know. If you get online and look up how much they predict is still in the ground and how much we've already taken out and how much we increase the amount that we use yearly, um, you'd be really surprised. Apparently these batteries have been replaced a couple times. <coughs> that screw was stripped out. All right, we'll send the battery pack as it is. And of course, everything going green really changes um, how much silver, gold, and copper we need. 
changes it a lot. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that the price of copper like triples in the next two or three years. Same thing for silver. Will it? I don't know. Time will tell. But anything is possible. So again, that looks like they're coated in silver. So this stuff right here is normally really cheap wire. Sometimes it's copper in it. Sometimes it's like steel wire in there or whatever. So a lot of times I just throw that into shred. spring here and another little wire or two. So I've been uh, doing some 3D printing today. There's one thing that's been giving me a fit. I've been trying to figure out how to 3D print that for like two weeks now and still haven't successfully done it. But I'm trying, hopefully we will get there. So here's another board, looks like it might be silver on it. You do have an IC chip here you can pull off. There'll be a little bit of probably copper in that little dial piece there. And that pretty much looks like that's probably about it, other than the copper that's in the board that completes your connections from item to item. And that's one thing I don't get about some yards not wanting to uh, pay you shred price for it. Um, there's copper in that board, so why wouldn't they give you shred price? Because they're going to get the copper out of it. There's a speaker, I normally just toss them in shred. And here's another board. Looks like it's probably silver on that as well. Making the contacts where the buttons are. So, as of right now, I am holding on to all my boards, uh, trying to decide what I want to sell to board sort, what I want to hold on to and keep, uh, what I want to do what with. Um, I know my plans and what I hope to do. But what you hope to do and what you end up doing quite often end up being two completely different things. There's a machine I want to buy that recovers like 95% of the metal out of, out of boards and, and everything. And uh, I want to buy it, but it's super, super expensive. Um, we're talking like $210,000 just for the machine. You have to set up a place for it. You got to get permits. 
so yeah it probably won't happen um but that's that's my dream uh so i can take these all these circuit boards and motors and uh stuff like that and and chunk it in there and uh recover everything off the shaker table big table at the bottom we'll see might get there one day if i'm lucky um then again i may not Time will tell, but that's the direction I'm, I'm heading and hoping for. Uh, if I can get an investor or something, that's probably what I'll do. So hope everybody's having a great night. And uh, we'll see y'all next time.